Greetings and salutations, Mega Wizard Seventy Nine here with another episode of Skyrim. And as promised, we are now continuing with the main storyline. Now, uh, at, um, before our little detour uh, with the whole, uh, you know, bringing the Thieves Guild back to the land of glory, uh, we stole into a uh, skull. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, a Dwemer and former scholar in Markov's uh, laboratory to get a hold of this um, cipher that would grant us insight into decoding. Uh, you know, decoding this nonsense, which is all written in the former language or the language of the Snow Elves. So, uh, what do you call it? Enther here is one of the few people who knows how to. Uh, who basically knew it right at first glance, but he didn't know how to decipher it because he doesn't have an intimate knowledge in the Falmer speech. But with this cipher, he will now be able to decode it properly. Was there something else? So, let us begin, shall we? Uh, first, we haven't let's... much time for discussion, but what did you need? Huh. Was there noticed... something else? I never noticed before. She really has, like, these deep blue eyes you can just look into forever. Was which there is something else? Really weird, because... We haven't much time for discussion. That's... But what that, did you need? That is not common among Dark Elves. Uh, dark Elves actually have uh, red eyes. Like, that, that that's just how they are. That That's their trait. Uh, I've never heard of a Dark Elf not having red eyes. Interesting. Was there something else? We haven't much time for discussion. But what did you need? I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. All right. Let's uh, go into the full view here. Or, nah. It's hmm. better. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about the Nightingales? Mm, uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Antha. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the guild immediately. Farewell, Enther. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Hmm? Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden and you find yourself in Witterhold, visit me at the college. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. <laughs> He's actually a pretty good fence. Uh, the problem is, is uh, well, uh, he can only do it in one specific location, and that's his room. Anywhere else, and he'll just tell you, wait for me in my room. If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. Alright, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, you can't take that or anything. Uh, I think he put the book back in your inventory? Yes, he did. And I think it's fully translated this. No, it's not. Oh, well, whatever. It's a nice little novelty if you want to keep it, as I do. Was there something else? We must hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. You've come this far. 
so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. As a Nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation, see if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. I'm assuming you're here for more than a social call. Down to business, eh? Okay, so now we head back to the Ragged Flagon. Uh, now you have to go through the... Uh, <clears throat> To uh, get to, you can't go through the normal thieves' guild entrance this time. It'll be locked. Just glad all that business with Malin is. Like the whole point of that is uh, because uh, Brynjolf's back now, and he's already caught wind that Carla is coming back to the uh, thieves' guild. So he basically has everyone, you know, Delvin, Vex, everyone. They're all inside the. Uh, <clears throat> they're all inside uh, the. Sorry, uh, they're all inside the cistern, ready for battle. Uh, <laughs> Trust me, they're going to be really surprised when they see me there. That's for sure. Uh, is, uh, you see, uh, Bring Off thought I was dead. <laughs> Alright, Carlyle should be waiting for us in the Ragged Flagon. that up because I am Jewelry never with legendary Argonian right. as I've <laughs> as I've made it apparently clear I rarely ever use this door ever again and I think this should be the absolute last time I ever come through here around I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for I'm glad you're here let me know I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am are you ready to face the guild then we show them Gallus's journal and hope for the best remember we have proof and all he's got is his word keep your eyes open I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system After you hear something like that, the ideal thing is to <laughs> equip yourself just to be safe. Alright. I mean, to be honest, I really don't need this sword, but eh. I think it looks cooler if I go in there with a weapon than without. Yeah, see? They're not out here anymore. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. Yeah, see? <laughs> they are so not happy about this. Vex is ready to tear you apart. I hope you have a good excuse for bringing Carlia here. They're waiting for you in the cistern. No tricks. No tricks. They're waiting for you in the cistern. No tricks. Vex mm. is ready to tear you apart. I hope you have a good excuse for bringing Carlia here. Oh. They're waiting for you in the cistern. Sorry, it's just, uh, I forget that that little nook is there.
They're waiting for you in the cistern. No tricks. They're waiting for you in the cistern. Yes, yes, yes. They're waiting for me in the cistern. Shut up already. Cistern. No tricks. All right. You better have a damn good reason to be here with that murderer. Please, lower your weapon so we can speak. I have proof that you've all been misled. No tricks, Carlia, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Now what's this so-called proof you speak of? I have Dallas's journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. Let me see. No, it, it can't be. This can't be true. I've known Mercer too long. It's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years, right under your noses. There's only one way to find out if what the last says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. Wait just a blessed moment, Bryn. What's in that book? What did it say? It says Mercer's been stealing from our vault for years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. How can Mercer open up a vault that needs two keys? It's impossible. Could he pick his way in? That door has the best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked open. He didn't need to pick the lock. What's she all about? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. Yep. Vex and uh, Delvin are the two who uh, carry the keys. Uh, it's to ensure. Use my key, but the vault's still locked up tighter than a drum. Now use yours. Uh, sorry, I mean, uh, Delvin and uh, Brynjolf have the two keys. It's to ensure, uh, you know, honesty. Ideate. It's gone. Everything's gone. Good to see you again, Get friend. In here, all of you. Look at that. The gold. The jewels. He's so good. That son of a bitch. I'll kill him. Vex, put it away. Right now. We can't afford to lose our heads. We need to calm down and focus. Do what he says, Vex. This ain't helping right there. Fine. We do it your way. For now. Delvin, Vex, watch the flagon. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. Got lots of jobs available. Interested? Go, Delvin. But yeah, um, eh, and now Brynjolf's taking his uh, temporary spot as a uh, guild leader. Look, before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. I... I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gallus' diary, it looks like he was getting close to exposing Mercer to the guild. Anything else? What? Nightingales? But I always assumed they were just a tale. A way to keep the young footpaths in line. Was there anything else she told you? Trying to make Mercer look bad in front of Maven, eh? Clever lass. Was there anything else? Then I have an important task for you. I need you to break into Mercer's home and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. Aye, a gift from the Black Briars after they kicked the previous family out. A place called Rift Wheeled Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Bold to guard the place. Be careful, lass. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Just find a way in, get the information and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. Good question. I've only set foot inside a few times myself, and that was in Mercer's company. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. No. 
It's some sort of crazy contraption Mercer commissioned for quick escapes. I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lower it in a hurry. Better question would be, what did he leave? Mercer took everything. Even all of our plans are gone. Before Mercer took over, Gallus started collecting every bit of material he could on locations the Guild could heist. Museums, keeps, estates, you name it. By the time Mercer took over the Guild, we must have had a few dozen. I don't have a clue. That door is impenetrable. Without two keys, it's impossible to open. I have a key, Delvin has a key, and Mercer has a key. That's it. There are no other copies. Huh. That'd be bald. A real piece of work, that one. Mercer's holding something over his head, keeping him loyal. Talk to Vex. She used to know him very well, if you catch my meaning. Careful at Mercer's place. I don't want to lose anyone else to that madman. Okie doke. So uh, now we're gonna go and uh, investigate Mercer. Uh, she stays here like that for a little while. I'm relieved Brynjolf has an open mind, or that could have gotten bloody. Alright, so let's go talk to Vex real quick. And then we'll head out and, uh, to Mercer's... Punishment's too good for Mercer Frey. The only penalty for his betrayal is death. Well, aren't they singing a different tune now? Stabbed in the back. It's like the dark brother it all over again. Hmm. If oh. I see... F need to stay focused in case Frey comes back. Make it fast. That pig? Oh, I have info on him. More than you care to know. Vald? Good side? Think you have the wrong person. The only thing Vald understands is gold. A man after my own heart. Sure, but he'll ask for a whole lot. I mean, you are asking him to betray Mercer Frey. Your best bet would be to erase his debt with Maven Blackbriar. If you talk to her, she might be able to give you the details. Of course, you could just run him through and take what you need off his corpse. I could care less. <laughs> While you're in there, help yourself to anything in Frey's manor. I would. <laughs> you bet. Punish if I find too good for Okie doke. Alright. Punish if I find too good for Mercer first, right. I'm gonna crush his only skull with my... Anyway. Uh, let's see, so I want this, and since I have to shoot that stupid thing down... Your there we go. Alright. I dare Mercer to come back here. He sets one foot in the cistern and I'll cut it off. <laughs> it's funny that she's saying that next to a guy. Alright, sesame. Close sesame. Alright. So let's go talk to that. Alright, so... Alright. Eh, it's always like a miscellaneous quest. Anyway, yeah, let's go talk to Maven about the Vald issue. Fortunately, you... All you have to do is just pay off his debt and then it's all said and done. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King. With his voice. The throne Shouted suits me, Vald. don't you think? Vald? Why would you want to help that idiot? He owes me a steep debt. In fact, he's lucky all I did was force him to work for Mercer. A few years back, I commissioned a unique quill from a good friend of mine in Winterhold. Vald was tasked with getting it here safely, and it ended up at the bottom of Lake Honric. The wizards called it the Quill of Gemination, and demanded a tremendous amount of gold to have it made. If you can locate the Quill and return it to me, something Vald was too stupid to do himself, I'll consider the debt satisfied. The Quill was supposed to allow me to duplicate any writing I'm viewing in exacting detail. 
I'm sure you can understand how useful that would prove in a business situation, especially where signatures were involved. Fortunately, the quill required an ink with a unique formula known only to myself. So if you're getting any ideas about selling it to someone else or keeping it, you'll find it would hold little value. I had Vald meet the caravan from Winterhold on the western end of the lake so he could avoid the roads. The idiot got lost in the mist and ran his boat right over some rocks, sending it straight to the bottom. He's too stupid to remember where he was, and any attempt I've made to find it in the past has been unsuccessful. Vald said his rowboat struck some rocks. I'd check under the water near one of the small islands in the lake. Perhaps you should start at the docks and work your way out towards Golden Glow Estate. Out of my way. You've been a good friend to me. Anyway, yeah, this is pretty simple. Do -doosh. Means something. There. I do this all the time, so <laughs> bear with me. Uh, it'll be worth it. Like uh, the mansion itself is actually kind of interesting. Anyway, so where we want to go is out there. Uh, I can't go in through there, unfortunately. Protect yourself right. Buy Lady armor Helga, from Grelka. so pleased to see you. Your marks of Debella are ready. Oh, splendid. I can't wait to use them. Begging your pardon, my lady. I know these have something to do with Debella, but whatever are they for? Maybe I'll show you one day, Medesi. Have them delivered to the bunkhouse, won't you? Wow, well, that explains where she gets them. Makes sense. I mean, they are just sapphires. Alright, let's see. Okay, so this should be simple enough. And by simple, I mean a tad tedious, because... <laughs> oh, man. I made the misfortune one time of trying to find it in the dark. I have Ooh. a lot of respect for the restoration school. Skyrim could use one. Need something? Alright. So we just start from here. It is our most favorite company. Alright, so. Uh, Alright, so essentially we just start from, like, you know, these small little islands right here. Uh, we'll start over here. That. Uh, let's see. Uh, fortunately, the the thing itself will be in a chest. You know, it won't be um. Oh, iron ore. Nice. Okay, so so we ran it up by some rocks. Uh... Ah, there's the boat. Or nope, no, nope, that's just a normal boat. Anyway, but yeah, it'll be like somewhere around here. Be like somewhere around here. As you can see, there's tons of rocks. Where'd it go? Uh, I found it! I just found it! Oh, there it is. <sighs> Alright. Hold still. 
For goodness sake. Just been a simple lock now. Had to be a master lock. Nope. Nope. Uh. Nope. 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 No. Mm. Uh. Blast you. There's fine steel at the Scorch Tammer if you fancy a new blade. Alright, here's a stupid... The throne suits me, don't you think? Really? I wrote that off a long time ago. Well, I suppose I need to fulfill my end of the bargain. Give this document to Vald. It frees him from the debt, but I never want to see him in Riften again. Okie doke. Eh, let's check what it says. This document absolves Vald of Riften, borrower, from all debts and accounts own, owed to uh, Maven, Blackbriar, Riften, lender. This document should be held in a secured location until such time as the lender considers the debt satisfied. In the event of the borrower's death, the debt will be collected from any remaining assets or property owned as determined by the acting steward of Riften. <laughs> That's cute. That is so cute. All right. Now well then, uh, let's see. That's the manor right there. Let's see. Uh, yep, it's this place. All right. So then. All right, it's barred from the other side. My apologies. I gotta go the other way around. Then close that. Yeah, here we go. Whoever should have come here. Wait, wait. <gasps> Are you kidding me? <sighs> After all that, and he just attacks me. God. Mm. Anyway, let's try this again. Whatever you need, Dragon Boy, just say the word. Uh <laughs> Man coming over here. Oh 
Come on! Wait! Why are you attacking me, you stupid? Uh, I don't understand why he's attacking me! When you do this quest, you're just supposed to give him the thing, and he leaves! It's really supposed to be that easy! I don't understand why he's giving me such issues! Everything so help, all right. So help me, if this is another freaking glitch, I'm not going to be very happy about this. Not in the slightest. Uh. Uh. I'm gonna try one more time and then I'm just gonna call it a video and try and experiment and see what the heck is going on. Cause goodness gracious. Way. This is Mercer Frey's place, and he don't like visitors. Now go away. Of mine? What is it? I can't believe it. How'd you talk her into this? Never mind, I, I don't care. I'm just glad I don't got to work for Maven anymore. Here, you did me a favor. I guess I owe you one. Thank you. There we go. Nice and easy. That's better. Now then, let's shoot this thing down. So, it's supposed to be like some kind of contra... Uh, I think I just shoot the thing. It's... Nope. Key to open that. Uh, there's so much specific that you have to shoot, I just don't know where. I don't even know if you can even do it with spells, to be honest. Wow, this is stupid. Well, oh, whatever. Anyway, I'll just call it here. So, in our next episode, we're gonna go into his, uh, into, uh, his house and, uh, figure out where to go from here. Uh, until that time, though, this is MegaWizard79, bidding you all adieu!